Level 2! Or Chapter 2! New music! Let's go! Now I'm fully powered up. If I die, I revert back to standard power. Yes, I can kill flames. That's because I just kick that much ass. Watch this. Ah, I can't do it at this level. Ow! Monsters respawn, which is useful because sometimes you have to farm things like power-ups off them, like that Birdman power-up. There is a third one, the Merman. Limited use. This is the way towards the end of the level. Someone is just messaging me. We're going to have to wait a little while. Okay, apparently I've been asked. No, I'm not going to even say that. <sighs> I don't know why people give me these things. One moment. Back to where I was. What have I done? Thank you, person that paused. I've now turned into the bird man. I needed that for this boss. Useless. Useless. Fool. Now I feel like a fool. Oh well. At least a there, another bird man. You're forgiven. Person that made me. Moving on. This is the lava level with fire that comes to life. Why do people ask these kind of questions? Silly questions, to be honest. Oh, now he's asking me if I'm recording stone. No, no, I'm not. Because I currently cannot play it. If I transform into any... If I touch water as anything that's not the Merman, I lose the ability. Like... Okay, I actually can't touch the water as non as Merman. I can't swim for Jack. In this form. Jellyfish! Button! Ow! You exploded! Fishman! It's an ex-fishman. Now I need to find the key to move on to the next... Because I can't get through there without a Merman Talisman! I kid you not! I need something to give me one of these ones. There's one. I'll show you how nervous. <laughs> I'm a merman. I can move much faster. My attack power is worse, but there's the key. You lose merman as soon as you try and leave the water. There's another merman. Like the right way to go. The hint usually in a level find the exit first, then focus on finding the key. If you find the key and you don't know where the exit is, you're a bit screwed. You can only have five transformations at any one time. So, this is how you beat this boss a centaur. You become Birdman again. This game has the notorious ability to have juggling, as in she can't leave here. So I, I thought she couldn't. Turns out she could. She can't leave now. She can. She's gonna try. Got her. Level complete! The magic bell, haunting sound, will spellbind any creatures from the black. Cool! One moment. 
Level 3, folks! This level is boring. <laughs> Let's add the obligatory swamp level. Where there's lots of water, but you really shouldn't do anything with it. Like, you should stay out of the water as far and as long as I possibly can. Oh, and apparently I'm a jerk. And I'm terribly sorry I can't record at the moment the one you want, because I'm not able to. Going right here reveals the exit. It's simple. Exit. Down here. There it is. However, I need to find the key. Skeletons are a bit of a joke now. Now there's nothing down here really, except some alligators. Oh, an extra life. Give me 30,000 points, extra life. Where's the key? I need the key for the next level. This is the last level where there's only one scene. After every other level now, there'll be two scenes. Where you have to find two doors and go through two areas. Well, I'm at the beginning again. Now I've got to go and find the key. I don't know where that is. Hopefully I'll find it soon. These are all just dead ends anyway. Well, there's the key. Back I go. to stay here, this level. Besides, level 4 has a rocking sound track. See, I'm slowly racking up transformations. Come in handy. Right, time to meet the boss of this, a giant insect thing. As usual, Birdman is what you want to be to beat this creature. You can only attack the thing on its head. Make it back up. Ha-ha! Your head disintegrates! I win! Ha-ha! Being a titan's awesome! Well done! The Dragon's Fang! This valuable item will invoke powerful magic, destroying all enemies within view! Yay! When we come back, folks, Chapter 4. Until then...